This is the fastest and most expensive Maserati SUV that they've ever made. And we're gonna take it here for a drive. Let's go. <laughs> Hey guys welcome back to ron's rise welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where you guys know what's behind me here today we've had this on the channel before it's the very limited and very rare maserati levante v8 ultima this is the end-all be-all for the maserati levante in this configuration that we see it and it's the end-all be-all for the ferrari to ride v8 engine in a maserati so with that said we have you know done a spin around two of these I think there's only like 103 being made and yeah we've already got two on the channel but with that said we didn't drive either of them we saw them but now i think it's time to put 580 horses to the test maserati music in its best way with the v8 exhaust note and just enjoy one of the final iterations of this model we're ever going to see maserati's most expensive suv starting at hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars and maserati's fastest SUV again with 580 horsepower and 538 pound-feet of torque you're not gonna see these often and if you do it will be here and gone so I had to highlight this one again but in a different way I think you guys are gonna enjoy this one now big shout out to Maserati Daytona Beach for letting me take a spin around and with this V8 Ultima now if you guys want to get any of these cars like this one here Check the link in the description. Go get this from their website. Give them a call and definitely get a hold of Maserati history. So for those who are new year, I would like to reintroduce you to the Levante V8 Ultima. This is the final Ferrari derived V8. Maserati themselves said that these were the final models with the Ferrari V8 engines in them. As you know, Maserati makes their own twin turbo Natuno engine, which is a V6 with F1 pre-chamber combustion technology. So they're no slouch, but they are not a Ferrari-derived V8 engine, which we will see in just a moment. But what makes the Levante V8 Ultima special beyond that? Well, the special Blue Royale paint that they have here. I mean, that's pretty good. The terracotta interior we'll see inside. I mean, this spec is crazy. You obviously have the V8 Ultima painted on the front fender. Again, we'll get closer to that. And only 103 of these are being made. Now, you can also get it in Nero Assoluto, which we have one inside as well. And the V8 Ultima, well, is the last. That's the last in Italian. And the last means, well, this is celebrating since 1959 when Maserati had the 5000 GT that was presented for the first car with the V8 engine in it. And with that said, this is going to be the last Ultima cars with the V8 engines in them. So Maserati brought out the special edition for the Levante. If you guys don't know, the Ghibli has one as well, the 334 Ultima. And there's one of those inside as well. Yeah, out of 103 of the Levante and 103 of the Ghibli, there's a Ghibli inside and two Levantes here at Maserati Daytona Beach. Now this is why you're here. This is where it's at. This is what we're celebrating. The Ferrari to ride V8 engine out of this is insane. Maserati's fastest SUV they've ever made. Twin turbo V8. This is not naturally aspirated, twin turbo V8. But we have 580 horses, 538 pound-feet of torque, and we have all-wheel drive out of the eight-speed ZF transmission. Now that is going to give us a top speed of 187 miles per hour. 187 miles per hour out of this SUV with a 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. Now, Maserati has always been pretty modest when it comes to acceleration numbers and top speeds. Really, what you love about these engines is not only, you know, it does perform, but then you love the driving experience from it, which we'll get today, and you love the exhaust note, which we will definitely get today, the sound clips. This I mean, it just, it rumbles, it growls, it does everything you will want out of a Maserati. This is the pinnacle, the end all be all. Since the 4.7 liter V8, it was a naturally aspirated V8 in the Gran Turismo. So again, this is what we're celebrating here today. And as you guys can see, it looks more beautiful than ever. And it's gonna be missed. I mean, I love to do videos like this, but I hate it at the same time because we have to say goodbye. And it's so hard to say 
goodbye to something like this. So let's take a spin around this because the Blue Royale paint is already pretty phenomenal. It's almost like a turquoise, kind of bluish, uh, navy bluish turquoise. It's hard to put your finger on, but that looks incredible. Now, that's one thing that is going to be specific to this model, but you also have elements that we've seen before on the Trofeo models of the Levante, like the big vertical grills with the center feed-throughs, letting you know that, well, we're getting some extra airflow in here. We also have things like the side blades wrapped around in carbon fiber, all right, we've seen on Trofeo models, as well as the front lip in carbon fiber we've seen before as well with this nice mesh grill to help feed through everything there full matrix LED headlights we've seen before with the fog lamps and the black surround and obviously the newer Maserati logo up front as well. And for the Trofeo models, we also got the nostrils and the hood for extra cooling, which are functional. So we've seen a lot of these things when it comes to the Trofeo model, which was the old big boy, the old top dog, but this has dethroned it. Now, keeping with that same flavor on the side, well, we've seen a couple of these aspects, but some we haven't seen. One we've seen before are the 22 inch Orione wheels. I believe they're 22 inch Orione wheels done in black with the red script there or red trident there. It looks really cool. Brembo brakes. All right, drilled rotors, black calipers with the white Maserati script there. Looking so cool. We've seen stuff like that before, but we have not seen a painted front fender until these models came out. Maserati really wanted to solidify what this was all about, so they painted it into that Blue Royale paint. That looks really cool. This is Rubino when it comes to the color of this accent here. So that is a Rubino color for the V8 Ultima script. Then we have the portholes, Maserati signature, done in black all the way around, and those are obviously functional. We have black mirror caps, black window moldings, black B pillar, but we do have the Italian flag there, just like we had on the Trofeo models to spice things up. Same thing we also had on the Trofeo models is the side skirt done in carbon fiber as well. So you guys will see that. It looks really good against the Blue Royale paint. So carbon fiber there. We have a big glass roof because we have a panel roof. All right, so we're letting in that natural light. And then one thing that the V8 Ultima and the 334 Ultima for the Ghibli didn't do is put the Trident on a C-pillar. Always a weird choice to me, but no Maserati Trident on a C-pillar. So you really don't know some Maserati from the side profile unless you look at the wheel caps and see the Trident. Other than that, you might not know what it is to the untrained eye. Now with that said, this beautiful rear end, check out the backside of the V8 Ultima. Now, again, a lot of the same things we've seen for the Levante Trofeo models. Not that we sell those often anyways, you know, at $176,000, but with this one here, well, we can rely on that paint color to just really take things up to the next level. So the spoiler done in Blue Royale, as you guys will see with the side blades in black, you guys will see the clear boomerang tail lamps as well with the Levante badge done in dark chrome, the Maserati script done in dark chrome. Now, one thing that you'll see here is we have a black underlining here rather than a dark chrome underlining like we normally would have. And then it feeds right into the um, uh, tail lamps as well, which you guys will see full LED. And then you come down to the rear because look at this beautiful Blue Royale rear diffuser right here, but then also the carbon fiber feed through all the way through. All right. And then coming around the exhaust tips to which our quad exhaust done in black. That is spectacular looking when it comes to a Levante. I love the way this looks. Even obviously, you have the holes there, mesh grill to help cooling when this thing gets hot because it's gonna make some good noise and it's going to definitely, definitely get close to shooting flames. But you know, uh, that'll be for another day we can get that to happen. But with that said, the rear profile of the V8 Ultima is just as lovely as ever in a Maserati Levante. Now, not that you get it for fuel economy, but this is going to suck down some fuel. 16, 13, 20. That means 16 combined city and highway, 13 miles per gallon for the city, and 20 for the highway, and obviously premium gasolina in order to make this Levante perform at its best. Now, before we take off, obviously, we got to talk about what makes this 
interior special as well because it's not just the exterior. We have terracotta and Nero leather, which makes this black and tan look so nice with the V8 Ultima stitching and the trident and the headrest as well. And these sport seats, perforated leather, which is heated and cooled. This looks sick. Now, not only that, we also have carbon fiber throughout. We have the Bowser Wilkins sound system, as you guys will see here, carbon fiber on the trim, leather everywhere on the uppers, on the door cars, on the armrests and stitching as well. And even the complete dash, everything here is leather. Everything is leather. Then you have aluminum, then you have carbon fiber. You look up, you got Alcantara in the headliner, you got the big panel roof, you got everything that you're gonna want material wise here with this model. Now you guys know preferred leather on the steering wheel and the common mount of power shifters. Classic Levante, a lot of this is classic Levante, so it is a little dated when it comes to the new generation of Maserati as you've seen this past two years. So it's gonna be a lot different for a lot of people. But this, this is special for a couple of reasons. One, you'll see the V8 Ultima badge, Una D103, 1103, all right? So that lets you know the limited availability here. You then you step on the brake right well hold on let's not do that let's start it in sport mode turn on everything all right battery and everything then press sport mode remember we got sport corsa here we'll talk about that in just a second foot on the brake and then yes now we start in sport mode all right so you guys will see that illuminated active aero suspension so we can raise and lower at our own will as you guys will see here but in sport mode it'll automatically lower all right now with that said i'm not going to go over a lot of the specifics just you know some highlights here um with that said sweeping dials i know we got actual physical dials no complete digital screen because we do have a digital tft screen right there in the center but again this is classic maserati now i know i know you can't go 230 we we know 187 is the top speed but the fact that that is even there on your dash is crazy revs up to 7,000 rpm a red line and you guys will see the v8 badge there as well that makes this kind of special right all right and then obviously like i said we have the carbon fiber all throughout for the center console but what down here is the most noticeable thing is Corsa mode because sport mode is reserved for all other Levantes. But if you hold down Corsa mode for three seconds, it goes into Corsa mode, turns off your traction control, turns off your driver assistance. You're on your own. The suspension is ready. The exhaust is ready. The car is ready to give you everything it has. Corsa means race in Italian. Corsa means you better buckle your seatbelt. So with that said, I'm not saying we're going to course of mode, but I'm just saying, listen for the exhaust notes, have some fun with it, but we're gonna enjoy it while we can, okay? Because again, this is basically it when it comes to Maserati power, Maserati music as we know it itself. So I wanna take advantage. Hopefully you guys will go along for the ride with me. All right, guys, so this time around, I wanted to do a POV. I don't ever really do these shots. Um, and hopefully this one turned out well. Um, really why I wanted to do this is because I wanted to take you along with me so you can experience this with me in a way that you would be in this car because again, I'm lucky enough to get inside of this car and do this uh, because of the fact that they're rare and the fact that they are expensive and all of the above. So a lot of people won't ever get a chance to see this view, let alone do this. So we're gonna do this together we're gonna be in this together so i'm in full manual mode and we're gonna make a little noise for you guys i'm gonna shut up and just experience it
took a second. I wanted you guys to to get that with me and just hear that. Oh my God. Okay. Now I can let out my true emotions. Um, wow. It screams. The downshifts are just as brutal. But then when you... Oh. <laughs> okay, I've been holding that down. All right. Yeah, when you get up, in that sweet spot between 3,000 5,000 RPM. Oh, oh my God. And it just gets up to the RPM so quickly. And wow. Oh my God. I would go through gas so quick in this thing. This is Maserati's fastest SUV. This is Maserati's most expensive. And I've already said that the Levante sounded better than the Ghibli and Quattro Porte. So this is definitely gonna be their best sounding SUV. something like this it's it's so awesome <laughs> guys i'm gonna tell you my foot's halfway on the pedal no lie halfway on the pedal i don't have enough room and i don't want to go crazy crazy with it so i just want to let you know i'm half-assing it right now and this is what we're getting. Oh, oh that was just from third gear. Uh, now, I'm not going to tell you what mode we're in, but I'll let you take a guess. It's not the slow one. That's for sure. It is. Wow. This is something else. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shall we, guys? Let's get one more good one in for sure for the record books. Take it home. Let's go. <laughs> now, that was about 80%. <laughs> wow. This is what we're gonna miss. This is what's going away. The smiles per miles, the whole reason why I fell in love with Maserati is this, the driving experience, the sound, the looks. Oh. Oh my God. This is the way to go. If this is the last V8 Maserati I drive in this configuration with this Ferrari Divide twin turbo, I'll be happy. This is, this is how I die. I die happy driving this Maserati.
Now, just as a refresher, let's take a look at the sticker of this V8 Ultima because we have Blue Royale and Terracotta and black interior with $188,000 for the MSRP. And we do have one option on here. You basically get everything, so the options are very limited. But what we do have is accessories like the luggage compartment map, the luggage, or sorry, Levante shade for the sunshade, first aid roadside kit, and umbrella. $390. Other than that, it gets to $189,885 after that $1195 destination and $300 preparation delivery. Surprisingly, it does not have a gas guzzler tax. Normally with V8 models, you will get a gas guzzler tax, but it is exempt for this model for some reason. So with that said, this is a 2024 Levante V8 Ultima. This is everything that it comes with standard and make sure you guys check the link in the description and my other video on this model if you want a deeper dive into it today. I just wanted to take this thing for a quick ride because, well, it's the last V8 Levante Maserati to come from the range with that Ferrari Divide V8. All right, so was it the Blue Royale paint? Was it the terracotta interior? Was it the carbon fiber? Or was it the V8 engine in this exhaust note that made you fall in love with this Levante V8 Ultima like I did? Again, big shout out to Maserati Daytona Beach. This is one for the record books. I hopefully you guys had as much fun as I did. And with that said, if you did and you want to help support the channel in the video, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Check the links in the description. Check the link to the website and their phone number to give them a call. Check out their inventory. If not this one, they have another one inside in black. Now with that said, also subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys have a great day and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.